It just bought above this bull bar. We had a strong enough rally and break out of the bull flag that I thought we'd get a second leg up. I was looking for two legs down and a, buy, a high two buy, but instead we went sideways. It's still always in long end, so I thought it'd be okay to buy above bull bars closing the other highs. Um, maybe to test the high of day. I have an order to take off half at the high of day, just under it. And the other half will exit below a bear bar, closing here as low. I ended up exiting when this bar closed um, near its low with the big tail on top. I was treating it like a second entry cell, so I just exited when it when it uh, traded below it. Um, I mean, my stop was down here, and so I don't know if this is the second leg from this move, but this is strong enough, so I don't think, I think had I held and bought more lower or just held for a swing, I think we'd still get a, a more major second leg up. Um, but that's not the kind of entry bar I wanted to see, so I just exited. I lost the dollar fifty or dollar forty. Now, if we pull back for two legs and then get an entry bar, then I'll I'll buy that. So I just wanted to mention a few things um, about my trade here and the day overall. Um, this bar here, so I missed this whole this whole move up, um, and my reason my reason for missing it was that on this bar, it was three pushes down, but it didn't quite get to this low here. Um, it got to yesterday's close, but it didn't get to the low. And um, this move down was very strong. So I thought we would get one more push down. So I let that go. And then even on this bar, once we did get the second push down and we got to this low, there was a small tail on top and it was after three bear bars. So I think, I think that's a mistake because it, has had three really good buy signal bars already. Um, a lot of buying pressure on the way down. So I think this is definitely a buy that I missed. Um, and if not this one, then buying this close or this close or something on the way up because of um, because of the context. And I missed all of these. And um, so once I bought up here, I already felt like I was buying a little bit too high and that we might have to pull back. So because in my head I was I was looking for a buy down here for a target up here at this line. Um, here. So I was looking for a target here from the buys down here. And once we got up, I, I was kind of mixed between, I, I think we're gonna get a second leg up, but we're already at the target. So I didn't quite know how I wanted to manage it. And once we didn't um, get up to a new high and just got this big tail on top, I decided to exit. And eventually we did get three pushes up, pulled back, and then got a new high up here. But I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have uh, sat through all that. So just unfortunate that I missed the first swing and um, I had to buy high here. And, and that's kind of why I was already a little bit iffy about the trade. So ended up exiting with a small loss. But this is actually more important. The trade that I missed, I think, is more important than what I did up here. Because had I taken any of these, either buying here and using a, a stop below this low or buying this second reversal up or third if you count this as the first reversal up um it would have more than made up for that and i probably wouldn't have taken this trade had i bought down here um so i think i was already feeling bad about missing the main trade and so i probably forced that one a little bit 